Listen, this is the final gold medal match of the evening as we get set for the men's compound gold. And coming up soon, the crowd is already going wild because these two shooters have been staged up for a gold medal match. An incredible story coming in for the 28-year-old archer, Steve Anderson. As we're getting ready for this match, we're gonna tell you who he's gonna be competing against, but I'm gonna tell you, you're gonna be on the edge of your seat for this one because these two archers coming up in the United States have to be two of the most popular archers, both at this event and on social media. There is no question about it. But that's why the crowd is going absolutely bonkers behind us as they await the arrival of the final Indoor Archery World Cup match for gold and for silver. The bronze was won earlier by Chance Bobek. So here we go, it's time to get this final match going. If you're at home right now, I know you want to put your hands together for this men's compound final. On the left is American Steve Anderson. And to his right, now shooting a Matthews, if you're joining us for the first time, Jesse Broadwater. What a match we have. And Rio, I've got to say this. Steve Anderson was supposed to join me here in the booth. I'm yeah. glad you're here. What happened with Steve, he shot so well these first two days here at Vegas that he found himself in 13th position. He had no expectations of even making it into the Sweet 16, the final 16, and he worked his way from 13th position to get into this spot. But Jesse Broadwater had to go by a freight train known as Mike Schlosser in order to do that, and he had to do it in round one of the Sweet 16 in a shootoff. Well, Jesse was number 10, so it wasn't the either one of them were, yeah. you know. Neither one actually was favored to win their first match. Let's put it that way. Yeah. I mean, but when you're talking the caliber of archers in this, that you can go from any position to anywhere. It is just tough. By the way, I think it needs to be mentioned that for Steve Anderson, he didn't expect to shoot this. We talked just a moment ago about equipment change. 23 arrows versus 27s. Steve didn't even have 23s here. He had to go to Mike Schulzer and borrow the arrows. Those are borrowed arrows if Steve wins the gold. Now keep in mind, they're Eastern arrows. They're exactly the same as Steve shoots, but he has a couple samples. So here we go, Jesse Broadwater, the defending champion of this event, now shooting Matthews, TRX-8. Lines up for his first arrow. Oh, man. Jesse shooting, he, he knocked me out, I can't say that he's not, so, you know. Steve shot good too. He mm -hmm. took out Chris Shaw, who took out Stephen Hansen. No. But oh, the crowd groans here, big cat. Steve having won the world field has been a little bit on this stage. Not as much out here. In the, you know, he's been at World Cup finals and stuff. Or World Cups and he's been in the finals. This is a little different here. Vegas is Vegas. Vegas is Vegas. Yeah. It's, we don't have this kind of crowd even at a World Cup. This is a different. Nice, there you go, Steve, the answer's on that one. One thing I want you to notice is when Jesse's at full draw, look at how much extra length his arrows have because he's got them tuned perfectly the way he likes them. And look how little arrows left when Steve draws back because he has a lot of draw. Yeah, it wasn't even like, if you don't know how much it's like, ooh, it's very thin grass that does it, yeah, you know, yeah, so it's yeah. kind of, that's a different part of it. 30, over 32 inches, yeah. Steve Anderson's draw. <laughs> I'm going to call that one. I don't know. I'm going to say that's a nine. You say it's a ten. Okay. Or they're not best vantage point. And someone has spotted it enough that he didn't put an ass in the And so. Again, cumulative scoring here. So you're going to add that up. So Steve Anderson will head into the second end of five, barring a shoot off. One point down. So Broadwater shoot really well. What a match he had in round one against Mike Schlosser, Mr. Perfect. Yeah. Actually, that was round two, come to think of it. That was the, the second round. Yeah, Jesse and Mike. Yeah, because Mike shot a 150 to get to, to advance to the second round. And then they both shot the 149s to tie and go into a shoot-off. Yeah. I mean, that round was pretty crazy. I mean, we had a 150 shoot-off with Chris Schaaf and uh, Stephen Hansen. So there was a lot of great scoring shot there. Must have been something in the air. I mean, really good. This will be interesting to see how how Steve handles he'll now shoot first. Yep. You're just trailing, you're gonna go first. Steve Anderson fighting a little sinus infection right now, actually. Just did not expect to shoot. I found out somewhere around 4.30 this afternoon. We're sitting at 8.49 right now. Jesse Broadwater now switch after 16 years with Boyd, he switches over to Matthews, and he's still 
constantly working on getting that bow to work for him. It's a lot of changing with stabilization and that, that long bar you see out the front and out the side. And of course, Jesse Broadwater, he always shoots. You can see his shoes. He has one blue laces and pink. And that's for his son and his daughter. Yep. Just let him know he's thinking about him. Here goes Steve Anderson. Lines up the shot. He'll, he'll graze that 10 line. Steve Anderson. These are, these are both great shots. I mean, there's no question about it. It's going to be who gives just a little bit at the right time. Kind of do it and kind of it. You know, we're talking with Jesse Broadwater earlier about his setup. One of the things he commented to me earlier was that if he was home shooting by himself in practice, the bow held great. When he got into competition, as Steve now drops another point at the moment to Jesse Broadwater, that when he got into competition, when Jesse got into competition, and he got the nerves going and the bow wouldn't hold like it would hold, and that was what he was dancing around with. He commented a little bit on that. How the bow acts differently from practice to when you're in pressure situations. Oh, it's huge. I mean, we wouldn't make anything work in practice because we're there by ourselves with no pressure. There's no added anything. And so Steve shoots another nine over the door. And it, Jesse is a big, good shooter. And I can just see him gobbling these extra points. Up oh, yeah. Me. But it's, we, we can all make stuff work at home. And when the pressure is not there, it just seems to flow perfect. I mean, I, I can give you an example. Lancaster. I thought, well, I'm going to try the higher level. I really haven't ever done it in a tournament. Home it aimed amazing. It was phenomenal. It shot great. I'm like, this will be a good tournament. I'm very excited. I get there, and it was like a train wreck. I missed 10 <laughs> points in the first five ends, and I'm like, wow, well, I'm in trouble. If I don't get this picked up, I'm not even going to make the cut. So I proceeded to slow my release down enough to build up t pressure and tension so it would react more like heavier holding weight. And I went through the next 15 and only missed three. So I seemed to make it into the cut, but I ended up meeting Chance Boba after the first round, which mm. one of us is going to have to go home. Absolutely. So kind of one of them things. So again, a little work on Steve Anderson's target. Try to get rid of some of those. an interesting deal like Je or Jesse has shot so good though I mean he took out Mikey he's taken out you know and that's just built confidence it's just like you're talking about his equipment not aiming as good and everything else the more you win and the more you get rolling the confidence just builds and builds and builds you know we talk about Steve Anderson borrowing arrows for this match you know, how important is your own arrow build in terms of how you how you touch the arrows and, and the, oh. the point weight it's huge. I mean, you have, you build, it's just confidence in, in, in anything. You, you shot, execution. You, you gotta trust it. You know, you gotta trust that what you do every day is gonna work perfectly. And so you can let that dot just sit there and execute. And I, it's kind of one of the things I think that, uh, like Jesse, the confidence is building more and more and more. And that's what's gonna you know, help you out. And that's where Steve, you know, I mean, Steve was shot good today, so he's got to have the confidence. You don't get, you don't get to this point tonight without having shot one. That's true. And and for Steve Anderson too, he's so far clean in the Vegas in the uh, Vegas shoot, 2017 yep. in the Champions class. No. Shot perfect. So and there's Jesse. So Jesse opens the door just a bit. Now, yeah. at this moment, it's still just a two-point lead. Yeah. But can Steve answer? Now the pressure's on Steve really to put this one in that ten ring. Oh, that's put it right in the middle. Someone call a plumber. Something just went down the drain. <laughs> Steve Anderson just locked that in. Now, what does Jesse have for an answer? Wow. And this is how and quickly it turns. It changes in a real hurry. I mean, we saw it earlier. You and I were discussing, and Steve, we thought, had the whole match won against uh, Tate Morgan. Yep. And he missed two in the last end. And, and had to go to a shootout. Had to go to a shootout. Yep. It, this is so close up with a penny, it can change that quick. And you can see Steve's demeanor's changed. You know, had Jesse right. probably put that one in, you could see his demeanor had fallen a little bit. Now it's a one point game, there's six arrows left, you're not out of the woods. You're like, hey, if I put six arrows in the middle, I'm gonna say odds are, I'm gonna get a little bit. And so it's kind of, it's a huge change. That, that one arrow is just, those two arrows are just huge. 
Yeah. Jesse's Jesse. wife in the coach's yeah. box behind them. That's always fun. You know, yeah. It is. It's, it's a weekend away from them, from, from the kids. Yeah. But they miss him terribly, but. It's cool to have your wife back there. I bet. Because you can walk back and talk to them. It's a different, you know, they don't, they don't always understand the whole thing that's going on out there. So they give you a break from what's really on your mind and talk something else silly. And it's just a, sometimes it's a fun thing to have back there. Gold and Steve Hedder Berto is friend back there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here we go. One point advantage for Jesse Broadwater. We're beginning the fourth of five ends. Jesse Anderson leads off with a nice solid Jesse Broadwater, kind of experience, of course. I'm sure that there was two nines in that last end. He's kind of just let him go. Look down the road. There we go. That's a good one. Taking a nice close look at that. Yeah, both of those will be asterisks, I'm sure. Yeah, for sure. And and this score is so close to so tight. Ten. It can come down. I mean, like, as much as it's not in the it's a judge, it can be your luck of the day or how the arrow kicks and the paper tears. Steve Anderson had a nice long look, maybe a little clip or two on the site. Just there we go. So now it's going to be interesting to see what those tie. middle arrows, yeah. It could be a two-point lead. It yeah. could be a one-point lead. We've got all kinds of that lie on them two arrows. It makes this match just just all the more exciting. You can see Jesse, his glasses. Right. He's got. <laughs> Taking a nice long look. It's amazing when you're an archer. No matter how much you look, it never changes. The arrow just stays the same. Yeah, I always said <laughs> there's not a pair of binoculars I can go down and move the arrow with <laughs> as much as I would love to. You see the number 10 there next to Je under Jesse's name? That means he was the 10th seed coming into this. So we mentioned that Jesse Broadwater knocked off some incredible talent, as did Steve Anderson, the 13th out of 16 seeds coming in. So Jesse, nice, cool, calm, and collected. Really surprised himself last year. In a conversation I had with Jesse earlier tonight, he surprised himself last year. The way he was shooting, he was really struggling. And, you know, I actually had the opportunity to go down and, and watch the two of you in the warm-up area. There was a bit of delay here in yeah. the arena, and you guys were shooting for a long time. And Jesse said to me that he was really working on something. He was kind of struggling, and he was able to find it with a little bit of extra time. So I hate to say it, but that a little bit of extra time might have worked against you last year yeah, in the and finals. I, and I'll be honest with you, I feel like I gave it up. I mean, I started off really strong, and, yeah. and I just kind of faltered at the end. And so. So Steve Anderson, a good look at him. He did win an individual gold in 2016 in the Outdoor World Cup arena. He's also won a couple of team golds and silvers in his career. So Anderson you experienced see, that. You see there, they both just to look at the Jumbotron to see what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> see, look, there's Steve again. It's All right, so here we go. We're going to get back to live action. With three arrows. The final end. This is for gold. One point lead. Steve Anderson. And Steve will start it off. It's like a 10. Steve starts off the right way. He does have a nice long look up there. I mean, it's on the edge. You, you never know until they you score up. But... Jesse, and he nails that one. Yeah, that one's no question one. about that one. This match is Jesse. When you set about thinking about it, he shoots for 10s, it's over. Mm -hmm. Steve can't shoot an 11 or a magic point anywhere. So right. you're kind of in that position. I love that one. Ooh, and that right there. You just turn to yourself and say, all right. I now can shoot 110 and it's over. Because you're going to keep it in gold does, for the most part. Does Jesse at full draw really know what Steve just did? Oh, see, does he really do? Ooh. Yeah. So so now you, see, you know you need it. Yeah, and you could tell from that yeah. English. He tried with, to put a lot of English on that. With the 20 though. seconds, you don't have time to let up and recoup. Yeah. You know what the who was. You know what's going on. There it is for Steve. So Steve's done everything he can. So now it's up to Jesse. 10, 10 to win. Nine's going to time. We're going to go to a shootout. Hearts are pounding in this arena right now. Everybody wants to erupt in looking, cheers. He looks solid. Jesse Broadwater getting ready to release. And there it is. Jesse Broadwater with a nice solid 10 will take home the gold. Second year in a row, the defending champ comes from 10 out of 16 qualifiers.
to win this one by one single point. And the silver medal will go to Big Cat Steve Anderson. An unexpected medal for Steve. There's no question about it. Hey, Steve, uh, don't forget to return those arrows to your competitor. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if Mike is getting a cut of what he wants. <laughs> So you saw four outstanding matches here in Las Vegas. It's the Vegas Shoot 2017. And it's a, it's a good thing for Jesse. It's a great thing. Because it's his first real win with his Matthews bow. Yeah. And I don't care what anybody says, you make that move to get that first thing under your belt is awesome. It just kind of takes the monkey off your back. Because I know when you when anybody changes something, they're always like, well, can you do it with the other one? Yeah. You know. Maybe our stuff's better. And to get that monkey off your back is just an awesome feeling. And after 16 years of shooting one particular brand, the change has got to, you've got to retrain your brain to deal with all that change, I would think. But, and the change isn't, I mean, it's, it's hard because it's a whole different animal. <laughs> but I think the biggest part is, is we are such competitors. And, and we want, when a company believes in you or someone believes in you enough to, to take a chance on you, whether it's for 50 cents or, or it's for nothing or it's for equipment, you want to prove to them your value. And it's, I can tell you, making my change last year, I want to prove to everybody. It was, it was, I appreciate what the companies do to me and support me. And, and I know that pressure is an added, ex, added, added tension on you. Mm -hmm. And Jesse shot good. I mean, he shot good in memes. Yeah. He's shooting good here in Vegas. In fact, I'll be honest with you, me, Steve, and Jesse have the same X count for tomorrow. We'll probably be on the same bail.